And you mentioned briefly earlier that uh, the total nicotine use in Sweden is actually very similar compared with other EU countries. So why, in your own words, then are public health outcomes so much better in Sweden when it comes to tobacco control? Simply because it's not measured. The calculation of total nicotine use was measured by Konstantinos and this, this panel of authors. And that's really our call, is to, for, for governments to perhaps stop criticizing and allowing misinformation on nicotine and at least measure the active molecule in their populations. And then specifically to differentiate between combustible forms of nicotine delivery and smoke-free because that should then inform better evidence-based policy making. Uh, so that, that really is the core of this whole report. Uh, it is not because uh, governments do not understand that there is a difference, uh, but if you look at Sweden, we have 40 years, as Konstantinos mentioned, we have 40 years of very solid evidence of how nicotine has been consumed in this country, much better health outcomes, and still other countries do not want to follow suit. It makes no sense. And to me as a physician, uh, I, I have to say this is also why I fully understood harm reduction the first time, is when I studied the Swedish data. Most physicians think of nicotine as part of tobacco, and they don't differentiate between nicotine and tobacco. Uh, and this is the moment where we hope that this report and ongoing advocacy will wake up Governments will wake up physicians, will wake up health professionals so that they ask the right questions.